a new life in France. What could be more quintessential than a beautiful bridge over the lovely River Gartomp? The water just going over the weir there, that lovely noise, the sun coming down, stood in the shade. Beautiful, beautiful part of France. Going to show you a property today that is definitely a doer-upper, probably a little bit of renovation as well. It has not been lived in for many years, but it has been built by a builder who then lived in it with his family. It's got so much to show, and it is actually just a very short walk up the road when you cross the bridge. Let's go and have a look. Well, we're going to take a look in this property. Remember, the properties we bring you each and every week are different. We bring you chateaus, we bring you million pound properties, we bring you properties that need loads of renovation, and we need some that need some renovation. This one probably goes into a bit of both at the renovation side. It does need renovation, it needs updating, that is absolutely for sure in this house, but it's got a huge amount of potential. The sun, it's surrounded by trees though, it's got lovely gardens, and it would have lovely gardens with a bit of TLC. This house has not been lived in for a long time. This house was built by a builder who then lived in it with his family. So it has been built well, but there's a lot to this property. At the moment, it's all downstairs. So we've got a kitchen, we've got a dining, sitting area. We've also then got a utility room. We've got two further bedrooms and a bathroom. I'll give you a show of some of those when we go in. But when you're looking at this one, think of the price, think of the potential. So once inside this house, it's a two bedroom house, so we'll take a look at those in a moment. We've got the kitchen, dining area. We've also got this big dining room we're in as well with a sitting room, proper echoey. As I said right at the beginning of this program, some of the properties we bring to you need a bit of work. This needs lots of work. So when we look in here, plenty of opportunity and plenty of potential here. You know, this is a big dining area, but this could just be one big sitting room. Got these big windows looking out over with the sun streaming through, looking over the garden area there. Got the lovely wood at the back as well. You've got a big wood burner going on here. So there's a lot to do. There's a huge amount of potential and where it's situated is lovely. Let's go and have a look at the kitchen. We're now in the kitchen diner area. For me, the kitchen, you need to rip it out and start again, but it's a nice area. You've got a dining table as well, just here. So it's nice, it's light, it's airy. You come in off the front door into here. Lots of work, but a huge amount of potential. What I do love is everywhere there are French windows to take you out to that outside garden space. Just to the side of the kitchen, remembering everything here is on the ground floor. We've got a big wood burner behind us. This is a back boiler as well. And looking at that needs a little bit of work. Interestingly, just up there, and you can just see from that pan shot, we're looking up there, there is a space. That is purpose built to take a staircase. A staircase to go to the first floor. Nothing in the first floor yet. This house was built by a builder and then they lived in this lovely house. And now, yes, years on, but the potential is still here. So it's really well built in terms of that, but it has the facility now to get up of those stairs, get into that first floor. A little precarious for me to get up there, so I can't show you, but it spans the whole of the house. Interestingly, on the table here, there are some plans of this house to show how it was all put together. Just off the corridor, we're in the bathroom. It's a big airy bathroom, again, dated like a lot of the stuff in the house, but just the of the potential of this house. That's what we're looking for here. Two further bedrooms either side of this. They're nice, airy and roomy as well. So really, you're going to have to sink some money in. But when you do, what a beautiful house you're going to have. Let's go and have a look outside. In terms of the situation of this house, situated by a very, very pretty little village. You'll see a few of those shots in a moment. But also as well, the garden area and the wooded area wraps all the way around the house. So we're at the back of the house now and you can see what's been built here. This is a lovely area to be able to eat out at night. It'd be lovely, it'd be cool, and you'd be able to go from there. Just around the corner there, we've got a sort of garaging wood store, workshoppy area as well, again, which was built here. But there's so much wood as well. So if you're getting those wood burners going, there is so much wood to be had. So structurally, it is all pretty here. And the gardens as well, you could do so much with. You'd take a few trees down, let a little bit more light in, but also use some of those trees for cover. If you're gonna have this as a family house and you were gonna convert the upstairs because you probably need more bedrooms, then actually from a family point of view, this is lovely. You go out into there, you could explore in those woods. The children would have lots and lots of fun, but you're really well situated here as well. 
you're off the main road but you're back from the main road so you really don't notice it and again with that main road you've got lots of places you can get to from a tourist perspective it's nice round here this when I look at it this could be a lovely holiday home or it could be a perfect family home well I decided to come back down to the river to finish this uh, particular property off it's just lovely down here there's also a lovely little riverside bar just up here as well so again that's one of the amenities you get with this lovely house just up the road of course the house we've looked at and let's have a little recap on that house the house itself needs a lot of work doing to it but it was built solidly it also has the provision to be able to go up to the first floor as well so when we look at the property as it is today it's got gardens and woodland surrounding it you'd have to bring that all back to life there's lots of potential there when you go into the house then you have got that big sitting dining room I just have it as a big dining room or a big sitting room one of the two you then go into the kitchen the kitchen has got a kitchen table it's got the kitchen you'd have to rip it out start again you could put something else in there you then got the two bedrooms and the bathroom again need work doing on them utility room is actually really useful and you've actually got that particular partition in the ceiling to be able to put stairs in to go up to that first floor so it's got a lot going for it in terms of that and that's why I like it but do remember and I've said it a few times today is do remember we like to bring you different properties properties to suit all budgets and all types of people I really like the property in terms of the potential you have to put a lot of hard work in there to bring it into something but when you do then it's going to be great so it could be a family home could be a holiday home and imagine a holiday home literally it's a three minute walk down the road over the bridge to here where I am stood now and there's that lovely little restaurant bar over there as well down to the river it's just gorgeous and I love the little town that's here as well it's a smallish town but again a big town is only five minutes away and that's got everything you need so there's a lot going for it and this is just a lovely part of France the Vienne was situated on the Garton River as well it's just beautiful it's idyllic it's got everything going for it if you have enjoyed today's program then do make sure you subscribe to the channel a new life in France you can also go to our website a new life in France and find out more there we look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.